to College Football 25 Road to Glory. And this video was made possible by the EA Creator Network. And remember, this build I'm playing on is a work in progress. We're headed into quarterback Matt Maher's junior year. Headed into college, we were redshirted at the Sam Houston Bearcats. After developing for a bit there, we transferred to Ohio. There wasn't a lot of competition there, but at least we got to be a starter, put up a solid season, where we drew the interest of some bigger programs, notably the North Carolina Tar Heels. And in our sophomore season, we put up excellent numbers, winning all ACC first team and taking the Tar Heels to the college football playoffs. Sadly though, our season ended in a heartbreaker against LSU. And although we put up a good fight, that loss fell on the shoulders of Matt Maher. Now luckily, headed into the start of our junior year, we're really good. We're an 87 overall. We've We've still got four skill points here with gold tier mobile dead eye, silver tier sleight of hand, and bronze tier extender. And if you watched last episode, you'll know about my absolute favorite teammate. That's our junior, who is now a captain, Emmanuel Cantu. He's an absolute speed demon, and he's six foot three. This is basically Julio Jones in a Mexican boy's body. He's got 99 speed, 94 acceleration, and he was by far our most explosive threat last year, but he got injured halfway through the season, fracturing his kneecap, and he's got two weeks left till he's healthy. So no Emmanuel Cantu at the start of this season. Luckily, we have Christian Hamilton, who's an 88 overall, and Paul Billups. This is Chauncey Billups' son. I made that up. And the best players on the squad come on defense. The Tar Heels defense was one of the best in all of college football last year. And as you can see, the top 10 guys in my roster are almost all defensive players. Also in the preseason polls, we are number one in the nation. I'm not quite sure how, but we went from a three and a half star program to a four star program. And I'm looking for a little bit of redemption this season. This isn't the Mac anymore though. We got a tough schedule. Our first game is against ranked UCF, then Alabama in week two. Then we got Purdue, UConn and Stanford, a bye week into Virginia, then Florida State, Georgia Tech, Duke, Virginia Tech, Wake Forest, and NC State. The latter half of our schedule is significantly easier. So we can close out the season strong, but out of these five games, I gotta win four. I'm gonna sim our first game against UCF, and the first game that I'm gonna step in on is against the Crimson Tide. So hopefully we can take down the Knights. And just like that, we're one and O taking on number seven, Alabama. That first game against UCF was a cakewalk. 40 to six. With my energy this week, I'm gonna go for some XP, give myself full health for Alabama cause we're gonna need it. And I guess I'll study, whatever. Can I use a little bit of my NIL money to just pay someone to take my classes? Whatever, whatever. We've got Alabama on the clock. It's a top 10 matchup. We have to win these matchups to make the college football playoffs. It's that simple. It's a bummer that Emmanuel Canto is not back for this game though. Oh, and it's under the lights in Alabama. We've got full energy and we want vengeance this season. I'm really frustrated with my performance in the playoffs last year. So let's start this season hot. As I say that, I don't think I could throw anything there. Second and 15, I have put a lot of points into play action. And you're gonna be too fast for me, huh? But what a ball. Mobile dead eye, baby. I forgot to mention, I did add some gear to my player finally. I went with the powder blue Jordan glove on my left hand. I went with the Jordan retro cleats and I added a clear Oakley visor. I'm not gonna lie. What all white jersey looks cleaner than this, dude? Although I'll be honest, that's not what's important right now. Beating Bama is what's important. That's a beautiful wheel route. Empty on our first drive against Bama. And it is quickly 10-0. All right, third and two. We're trusting our senior running back in an Alabama D tackle. Flies through that line. Yeesh. Losing this game here would be really bad, and it's 17-0. First and 10, I'm not giving up on the run. Jeez, man. We lost a lot of good seniors last year. Many of them on the offensive line, too. We got no choice but to start taking some shots now running out of clock. Beautiful, beautiful scene. Coach is whipping out the spread playbook though. I love this. I need you to do this more often. Oh, Hamilton might have him. Hamilton might have him. <laughs> Better put your body on the line. Got a deep comeback. Oh, that's so beautiful. What a route. He sold the streak. That's against a star Bama corner too. Improviser. We improvise, let's go. That is the next big upgrade I wanna make. I wanna improve my speed. 
We're 78 speed right now. We need nine skill points to upgrade it. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Defense steps up big. 17 to seven. Big opportunity here with 54 seconds left in all three timeouts. I see the blitz. Yeesh. That's a risky ball, but he's in front of him. Great work. Third and two, we're hot. Just gotta take the easy one. Great catch. Timeout. It's not right. Step up. We get the first down. This is college football, which means we can no huddle this and preserve our timeout. This is risky. No, I gotta, I gotta use it. Is coach gonna take this field goal with seven or is he gonna give me one shot? He's gonna give me one shot. Hell yeah, coach. Hey, that's why you gotta get your coach trust up, baby. With seven seconds, he's gonna let me take at least a shot at the end zone. Mm, I'm gonna try it. Seam beater. Bailed. Bailed out by a dropped interception. We take the field goal and we start with the ball. Okay, hand off to Jordan Louis. We cannot forget about him, man. He's essential to us winning games. And even if it's against Bama, we got to establish the run. I'm gonna give it right back to him. Two straight run plays. That one looks even better. Third one. I might make it three straight. Hell yeah. Oh, he is. He is right over the top. Randolph! He dropped it. And coach wants to go for this. Holy shit, with the same play. This is officially the biggest play of the game. Damn, if I knew coach was gonna go for it, I might have thrown something shorter. Fourth and 13. Set up, set up. He's there, great pocket. <gasps> no! What are you doing? Bench him now, coach. Oh, I have never missed my senior tight end so much. I cannot believe he let that go through his hands. It's not over. We have two timeouts. We have the two minute warning. We gotta score so fast. We will not be defined by that drop, boys. It's all right, Randolph. You're gonna get your redemption, buddy. And you're gonna get it right here, right now. Great catch. Come on, boys. Right there, right in the middle. Ref, get out the way, bud. Third and two. Give me an easy one. Get out of bounds, get out of bounds. Down a distance, beautiful. That's how you get out of bounds, baby. Great work. Are you gonna, oh, you are, Texas. Great catch, Louie. We gotta go no huddle. We just gotta get in there. I think the way we've been passing, I might be able to scramble this in, but it's risky because if I get sacked, that clock ticks. I got it this time. It's a big touchdown, but we're not celebrating. No celebrating, this game ain't over. Exactly. Two timeouts, they can already burn 30. We have to stop them on their first possession. Okay, we hit the extra point. One yard rush, we call a timeout. Three yard rush, three yard rush, they're punting. They have to punt here, they do. North Carolina, we have the ball. 53 seconds, no timeouts. We just need field goal range to send this OT, where we can go yard. Oh my God, look at that. <gasps> That's a horrible ball. I literally look like I look against LSU. 197 passing yards and an interception on 53% completion. That is not how you want to start the season. Our playoff hopes are not gone, but we've got to be damn good the rest of the season. Let's see how far we drop in the rankings after that loss right there. I'm getting hit up by a fitness company that's going to give me plus five stamina permanently. Why would I ever turn that down? Although I'm starting to realize why you might want to put some points into your brand. Because if you can get good brand deals that do stuff like this, I haven't really explored that in this Road to Glory. Okay, we only dropped to fifth in the nation. I, I honestly don't know where they're coming up with this. It was a really close game and we blew out UCF, so maybe that's it. But I don't even know why we were one, but I will definitely take it. It makes our odds for the playoffs much better. We beat Purdue, but we actually dropped in the rankings. We got a game day challenge here. Complete 6% of third downs and win the game. So we beat UConn as well. We move up to four in the rankings and our next ranked opponent is Stanford. They're two and one. We're playing this one. I have minus two speed from wear and tear. I don't think that'll be too big of an issue, but I do have enough skill points for an upgrade. I think I want to be able to scramble better because when we get bagged in man coverage against the really good teams, scrambling is a very effective option. <laughs> that is the funniest mascot in college football. No doubt. All right, it's time to go off. We are going to be in air raid dominance. Damn, Stanford is packed. We're taking on some nerds today, dude. I'm not losing. Oh, look who's back. Look on the right side of your screen. I don't care who that corner is that you got. He's not hanging with Cantu. Oh, I can't get the audible off. It's too loud in here. And we get a false start. Oh my goodness. Let's keep her. Oh, good blocks. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That 79 speed might've been the difference right there. We did get a little acceleration boost too. Big touchdown here will quiet this crowd. 
Jordan Louie. <laughs> nice. They turn the corner fast in college football. Like, they get upfield really fast. Stanford scored, though. It's first and 10. What's this route? I can't do it. That's a touchdown. <laughs> they don't know about it yet. He was injured last year. They don't know. That dude, if you man him up, you're in. Oh my God, this might be another touchdown. I'm not entirely sure how they're going to stop this. That safety is going to need to go. Yep. Well, the safety made a business decision. I'll say that. But we've got, ooh, we got a little playmaker. Nice catch. Oh, double team on the left side. Easy. Easy. <laughs> I'm definitely going to get pulled here. Does that safety have Cantu? Oh my God. Yeah, he does. He's so worried about Cantu that they're not even looking at Randolph. Busted coverage. I'm about to get pulled at halftime. I got 90% completion and four touchdowns. Good ball. Mmm. Dude, I wasn't even commentating because I figured that that could not have been a touchdown. I have no idea how you made that a touchdown, but we're sitting at six total touchdowns and 350 yards. I'm out. No, I'm in still. Coach. Pull me. Coach, do you not care about my well-being, bro? Like, be honest. I tell you what, this is a touchdown. That's a touchdown. You cannot, you, like, you cannot press cover him under any circumstances. I don't care how good your corner is. Your corner better have 97 speed or high. Six touchdowns, 440 passing yards. Or coach, actually, if you want to keep me, I'll get a school record. I'm happy with that. Or Jordan Louis will. Break it. Oh! Busted his ankles! Second and 18, oh my God, what are you doing? Like, what actually are you doing? You, he, they had a high safety, and he either rotated to the middle of the field or blitzed, but I think teams forgot about him. I think teams forgot that we have one of the fastest wide receivers in college football. Touchdown, can too. He's a glitch, he's a glitch. Dude, you know what's funny? He's gonna win Offensive Player of the Week and not me, I think. All right, that's 566 passing yards and eight touchdowns in one game. I'm on three minute quarters. That's all my pent up anger against Alabama getting let out right there. Coach said very efficient on third downs. Great job. Coach, I just put up 600 yards and nine touchdowns. You're gonna tell me I was very efficient on third downs? I was very efficient every time the ball was in my hand. The ACC record for passing yards in a game is held by Deshaun Watson with 580 passing yards. I think I just had 586. Oh, 566. Shit! I don't think I got a record with that. That's insane. Someone in real life did more than what I just did. I did get National Offensive Player of the Week, though, so we take those. We're second in the nation. We got a rivalry game against Virginia. I'm leaving this one up to the gods. For the first time ever, I'm going to start upgrading my brand just to really see. Damn, that barely goes up, though. And it makes me worse in school. <laughs> I got a good GPA though. Oh, oh, shit. oh shit. I may literally have just failed so many classes that I'm ineligible. <laughs> I think it's so funny that the confetti and the fireworks come up to tell me that something bad happened. Fan favorite deactivated, brother. I'm ineligible. For the first, this is the first time this ever happened to me. I'm in, I just had a 3.6 GPA. I tanked that midterm so bad. Oh my God. Well, we'll spend our energy studying. That's basically all I'm doing this week. That means I can't play Florida State. That's actually, oh, and it's gonna impact my season stats because I'm, I'm down a game. Holy shit. That's low key one hell of a punishment. You're telling me every kid in college football is actually attaining higher than a 2-0 GPA. Okay, well we beat Florida State without me. So I guess I'm useless to this program. Okay, GPA's back up, baby. I'm still gonna spend my points studying, not gonna lie, and becoming a leader. Taking on an unranked Georgia Tech team. It is so nice to feel confident in most Sims. Like I won't be shocked if we drop a silly game here or there, but we're such a good team that I can I can just win. Duke's four and four, two and two in the ACC. We're four and zero. Oh. I'm gonna step back in when we've got a real opponent. Straight up, the easiest schedule we've ever had. I'm now playing one and nine Wake Forest, and we're still undefeated. Now I know if I want a shot at Heisman, I should be playing all these games for the sake of time and the fact that I'm down a game. I'm okay simming these. I've got my eyes set on the national championship. Well, I asked for a big game. We got ranked NC State. I think. This is the last, yes, the last game of the regular season. It's a rivalry. They're not doing too hot in the ACC, but we just dropped to sixth in the nation. Oh my God, we lost to Wake Forest. Oh, that's exactly what I was saying about Simming. You're gonna lose a game every once in a while. Oh, I lost to one in nine Wake Forest. You're telling me that one of two Wake Forest wins is against the number one team in the nation, 27 to 24. Ooh, lots of skill points to spend. I'm gonna get bronze tier pulldown. 
boost ball security when standing in the pocket. I'm gonna put a point in IQ. Does not increase my overall. And I'm gonna put a point in elusiveness. That takes me up to a 90. Damn, 95 break sacks, really good. And with my final three skill points, I'm gonna take extender to silver tier. Wow, let's just run it back, Clemson. The best team in the nation is Clemson, and we're taking them on in the ACC championship once again. Well, we're third in the nation, so if we beat Clemson here, we should get a bye. This could be a really difficult game, though. They are literally the best team in the nation. The Clemson game started off close. We started with the ball and had a quick three and out, and Clemson responded with a field goal. Luckily, we responded with an absolute nuke to Emmanuel Cantu. This guy is a cheat code. Get out of here, bro. Clemson has another quick drive, allowing North Carolina to take a big shot on first and 10. Okay, low key, like I almost want to stop doing this because it's that overpowered. I've seen him get covered really well, like maybe one time. Like, okay, let's just check it. That's number one on Clemson who's covering him in man coverage, right? Let's go to the, let's go to the depth chart to see just how good he is. Clemson corners. Number one, Brandon Strogier. He's an 88 overall. Like he's a captain, he's a stud. 90 speed. Clemson responds with a touchdown, and we fought our way through the defense, setting up a nine-yard rushing touchdown for Maher. And after that, it was all North Carolina, scoring another rushing touchdown with Maher and another absolute nuke to, you guessed it, Emmanuel Cantu. But guess what, baby? It doesn't matter, because you can't press cover him like the other dude can. You don't got jammer? It's still a tutty. And just like that, victory formation 41 to 24. The ACC championship goes to Matt Maher and in our career as a Tar Heel, we're three and oh against the Clemson Tigers. Whoa, whoa. Wait, what award is this? Is this like, is this like the backup Heisman award? It's a cool award. I'm not gonna say that. I'm the 2027 player of the year. Uh, you mean Heisman, right? What is player of the year? I missed the game too, by the way. What is player? Even think it was realistic. I didn't even think it was possible this year. I missed the game. I was ineligible because I had a 1.8 GPA. And we still won Heisman? No way. I mean, we did string together some insane games. We went first team all ACC, player of the year, Heisman, second team all American? What? No way. The UCF Knights? Is our first round game? Please tell me I can see LSU again. Please tell me I can see LSU again. The UCF Knights, I think they were our first game this season, actually. We beat them pretty bad. Four, yeah, we beat them 40 to six. So North Carolina gets a bye in this year's playoffs, which means this is the same game that we lost last season. But I'm not the same player, and this is not the same team. We've developed, we've upgraded, and we're healthy this time around. There's no excuses, this is our year. And for any UCF Knights fans out there, I'd like to introduce you to Emmanuel Cantu, baby! He caught that! First and goal, baby. Let's punch this in. Big blitz, right in the middle, Randolph. Three plays for a touchdown right there, we love to see it. UCF scored every time they touched the ball, though. This Cantu post could be deadly. Where are the safeties? Oh, he's dropping back. Oh, it's risky? Got him. He's so good. Okay, got a little switch up here. Delayed blitz off the left side. He's home, but look who's there. Look who's there. He doesn't drop the ball either. He just got rocked. Oh, scramble left. Easy. Do they pick me up? Texas dots. Woo! We're spreading the ball too. Three passing touchdowns to three different players. Or no, two passing touchdowns, two different players. My bad, I have dementia. Good stop defense. First and 10. There goes Jordan, great angle, and a juke inside. Jordan's got one in the air and one on the ground. He's a senior too. This is his last season with North Carolina. It's his last opportunity in college football to win a national championship. And frankly, I don't know if he's going to the league. First and 10, Randolph on the easy one. That's a first and more. Up by four with three minutes left in the fourth quarter. I couldn't realistically put the game away here. Let's see if we can pull this safety inside so Cantu can do his thing. No, step up, step up, step up! Oh, nothing but daylight. Nothing but daylight! Second and eight, another run play. Too dominant. Too dominant. Third and two, jet touch pass. Actually a really big play here. An ugly cut up, but it works. And there's a flag. No, don't tell me. No. That is embarrassing for this program. We just got a first and goal, and now you're gonna make it third and 10. Okay. It's a blitz, wait a minute. I think I gotta use my legs. Turn around and block. Good joke, Maher! 
I'm in! I'm in the end zone! UCF's unable to score. This game's over. They have two timeouts. No, this game's over. I might throw a touchdown on them just to be a dick. Step up, Maher. <laughs> this game's over. It's, it's victory formation now. 28 to 17, they have one remaining timeout. We've officially gone further than we've ever gone. The next game is only four remaining teams and it could be Clemson again. Please, please, please. <laughs> no way. Dude, what, are the, what did the Blazers do? How are they a top four? That's crazy. I mean, like, I've seen very few corners in the entire league be able to guard Emmanuel Cantu. Are you telling me that there's a blazer corner that can do it? Because I'm kind of saying there isn't. And I'm kind of right. That is the first play of the game. I just feel bad for the fans. I feel bad for the Blazers fans. And yeah, that's pretty much how the entire game went. Throwing touchdown after touchdown. I don't know how the Blazers made it. I don't know why. And I don't care. I'm going to run up the damn score with Emmanuel Cantu. Can two of these nuts fit in your mouth? After touchdown. Ooh! I don't feel bad anymore. Holy shit, what a highlight. Oh, and we also, of course, threw three more 70 plus yard streaks to Cantu. And a one yard for Maher to seal this game 69 to 24. And just like that, North Carolina is advancing to the national championship. I think we're gonna play Ohio State. That's my guess. Ooh! North Carolina versus the Fighting Irish. You know what's funny? If I do transfer, I was thinking about transferring to Notre Dame. I thought that'd be a fun team to transfer to because they have such a unique schedule since they're independent. But now I feel like, why would I ever do that if I'm about to play them in the Natty Chip? I don't know. All right, boys, headed into the national championship. Let's look at our roster because this might be my last ever game with North Carolina. I don't know. We really kind of turned them into an insane program. From a three and a half stars to a four stars and now about to compete for the title. A lot of seniors will be leaving though. Cornell Harris, Ashton Woods, and Christian Hamilton are three best players at 92, 91, and 91 overall. Daniel Anderson, Matt Maher, myself, and Jaleel Freeman, all juniors. Emmanuel Cantu, the, one of the grossest players I've ever had the honor of playing with. Look at the trophy. Oh, I want to hold it so bad. The national championship. Nobody wants this more than Matt Maher. Last time I was in the college football playoffs, I laid an egg against LSU. And some fans have been talking about our run to the national championship as a Mickey Mouse run. We played the UCF Knights and the UAB Blazers. That's not exactly dynasty powerhouse schools. We had a bye in the first round, and some people are claiming that this is the first real team we've seen all season long. The only other real team we saw this season was the Alabama Crimson Tide, and we lost that game. I believe Notre Dame just started with the ball. Yep, they did, and they don't get anything. And we start with really solid field position here. I love it. I see Randolph open, and he's got a whole lot of field. Third and seven, need some big yards here. We're an improviser, so we improvise. Oh shit, I just deked. I just deked the 95 middle linebacker. Ooh, that's huge. That was a very big conversion. We're kicking a field goal if we don't get that. First and 10, final play of the first quarter is Emmanuel Cantu in the middle of the field. And he's so fast. Go read option, but honestly just hand this off. Don't overthink it. Beauty, beauty. Notre Dame goes up empty again. Do we try out the Cantu magic? That's a star stud DB in press coverage and potentially a safety over the top two. It is. We got to take this. Hey, but I love all that. I love all that attention that they're giving to him. It's making it easier to throw everything else. I'm feeling like a wizard, man. I'm feeling like some Emmanuel can to magic. I'm feeling like a fraud. Remember when I said I need to upgrade throw power because I underthrow him sometimes? Total underthrow right there. Seven points for Notre Dame. Oh, huge mistake. That's just greed. First and 10. Let's run it back. Oh, Randolph. Randolph, use those wheels, buddy. That could not have been a better ball. But those are some stars down there, man. Press coverage can too. You better hope you got some abilities to jam him. Or that's a touchdown. Emmanuel can too. That's faith. That's faith in my receiver. I threw a pick over there, but I'm not done yet. 14 to seven, buck sweep. They send a blitz up the middle. That's the perfect time to run that play. 
that's unlucky. The f it was a, actually a really good play by that linebacker to slow him down. That might have been a touchdown if he didn't get slowed down there. Third and 10, big conversion. Step up, improvise, improvise, improvise! Not enough! Fourth and one, am I in field goal range? Did I dive into field goal range? North Carolina defense saves me once again and gives me stellar field position. Oh, I'll take the easy one. Oh, this is so risky. I'm gonna run true read option. Bite, 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 bite. Let's go! Wait, no, I didn't hand that off. Oh no, I'm supposed to hold A. Shit, I hold A to keep it. Oh my God, I thought I had a touchdown. Fast. Wide receiver one, baby. Wide receiver one. I see Cantu. If I can give Cantu a deep crosser, I just feel like that's a touchdown. It's a blitz. Cantu is a touchdown. Oh! Jeez, dude. Second and 20. Good blocking. I should have just stepped up. Third and 21. That's going to be the two minute warning. Wait, read option. I kept it that time. So risky. I could so fumble that ball. Fourth and seven. We're gearing up for a huge field goal here. They have no timeouts. I don't want to say the game's over, but if we make this field goal, they're going to have to score and get an onside. They did. Holy shit, they did. But we have the ball. It wasn't pretty. It wasn't flashy. And maybe it wasn't what the fans wanted. But we just proved that we can beat a damn good team. The Tar Heels are college football national champions. I love the way we played that too. We played an amazing game. We had one bomb to can two, which was obviously crucial. We had one true touchdown and a field goal. Oh, that was a tough team, dude. Player of the game, who else, man? That's the difference maker, man. Having him out there is the difference maker. Hello, sir. Why on earth are you in front of me? Who is that? Fire him, coach. You better cut that dude who just stood in front of me. Oh my God. That was the national championship, like the sickest B-roll I'm gonna get. And, and whoever you are, I am going to ensure that you hit the fucking transfer portal and your ass sits on the bench in the si I'm gonna ensure on my mother that you go to the Let me see it. National champions, congratulations. You won the college football playoff national championship. What's better than that, man? What is better than that? Once again, the Tar Heels are ranked first in the nation as they should be. I gotta take a look at my stats, man. I, I mean, I got a big decision to make. I just won Heisman and the national championship with North Carolina. I have nothing left to prove at this program. I had my best season ever, 46 and seven, 4,385 passing yards. But if I left, I wouldn't have Emmanuel. In fact, I might even have to play Emmanuel. If North Carolina made it back to the chip, I'd have to play against him. He's a god. Do I really want to leave the program I built up? If I left North Carolina, would they be in good hands? They'd have Zach Donlin. Although I'm sure they'd be looking for someone else, right? Next episode is going to be a tough decision for our senior year, what we're going to do. But for now, what I can say was that was one hell of a ride with North Carolina. So what kind of records did we break with North Carolina? Passing yards in a single season. We got the record in 2027. Receiving yards, of course, it's Emmanuel Cantu. He had 1,800 receiving yards in 2027. Cantu also has the touchdown catches record now with 19, and I have the passing touchdowns record with 46. And as far as single game records are concerned in the entire ACC, me and Cantu have passing yards, receiving yards, Passing touchdowns and touchdown catches. Oh, I think it is fair to say I've done everything I can in the ACC. I've done everything I can with North Carolina. I think we got to switch it up. I don't know, boys. I'll have to see your guys' opinions first. But hey, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.